Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to do a video montage. Let's get into it. Alright, so if you look at the video montages, there's a whole bunch of them available in Avid Studio, all the way from video walls to the 50s modern. Right now I'm on the multi-layer mix, and I'm going to use... You can mix and match these if you if you want to if they don't take up the full screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, two of the multi-layer mix and I'm gonna drop them into the timeline. I'm gonna do the uh, right side roll and I'm gonna do the lower third crawl. What this does is it actually instead of just the the crawl on one side, you'll see that the video actually goes both ways as in the demo that I showed you. Now another thing that I did is I went ahead and placed some video motion loop behind them so I dropped it down into the bottom timeline track and then I can go ahead and bring these up to size so that it all matches up. Now when I double click on one of these, I can then go and add the clips how I want. So you just basically drag and drop, place them in where you want them, and it's pretty simple. One thing you can also do is you can change the parameters or the position of where the videos go through. If you want to move it to the middle, you want to move it down, you want to move it up, you can utilize this to do that. It gives you some flexibility in what you can do with your videos. Now, another thing you can do with your montage is you can change how it's displayed. Most people use the thumbnails, but you can use a detail view if you want to. And you can also use a scene view if you want to. Pretty simple to do. Now, an important thing about the montage is that once you get to a specific position in the montage... What you want to do is make sure that your clips line up. What I mean by that is, on this it's not really too important because these are just scrolling across the screen. So you could just put whatever you want in there. As a matter of fact, I'll just leave it like that. And when it's done, the image on the bottom is still going to be on here. But if I want to go to a different type of montage and add it in, let's say I do the video wall. And I want to use segue A and I drop that in. Well, because this is the image I have on here right now of the crowd and the instruments, I want this to match up with it so that it doesn't just jump from one picture to the other one. So what I want to do is when I utilize this montage, I go to the correct tab that I have open and you'll notice that you still have the functionality of going between your tabs and opening up new tabs as well in your montage. So I want number one to be the same. 
that way it doesn't jump from a picture of the crowd to a picture of something else is going to look real sloppy. Also, it's important to know how the end of the montage looks so that you know what it ends on. So whatever ends on number six, let's see, I just put the same thing in there. Then I want, if I want to go ahead and segue into a new montage, and I go to pick another one, let's say we go back to, let's go to multi-layer mix animation, and I'm going to do the four box drop, the quad box. Well, then, of course, when I look at this and I see how it works, I want to make sure that if at the beginning of this there's something that it needs to segue to, I want to make sure that it's the same. Now, it's not on this one because number one just drops in. But number five takes up the whole screen again, as you can tell here by looking at this little piece here. So I want to make sure that whatever I do for number five, I make that my next segue or I end on that. So... Now I need to go back to my videos that I had selected, which are the music loops, and I'll drop some more in. Let's say I drop that one in the number five. And that means that whatever I do for my next one, if I want to do another montage add-on, then I need to go ahead and make sure that I start off with the picture of the microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and put the shatter in there, just like I did on the demo. And what that means now is I got to go back to my videos. And of course, my first one, since it's the full screen again, has to be the microphone. So it's a smooth transition. And I can make whatever to end because it just shatters and changes to that last piece. And that's it. I'm going to add your music. Make sure you have a track open. If you don't, you can right click on a track and say insert new track below. And then you put your music into this track. Line it up with your videos. Make it look nice and smooth and you're all done. That's it. How to make a montage theme in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.